Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer, bring you another visit with Fibber, McGee, and Molly. Again, we invite you to listen to the transcribed adventures of Fibber, McGee, and Molly. The show is written by Phil Leslie and directed by Max Hutto. Our story will be underway in just a minute. Here's a conversation you might overhear on any evening commuter train. Oh, brother, am I beat. Rough day, Jim? Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Got a headache, and I just feel kind of all in, all over. And what makes it worse, this is bowling night. I can see you don't know about Alka-Seltzer. What I say? Alka-Seltzer. If I had a headache, I'd do something about it. Look, why, why don't you drink a glass of Alka-Seltzer when you get home? By dinner time, you'll feel like you could rack up a 300 game. Yes, it's the favorite of so many for relief that does so much. Alka-Seltzer, the medicine that's so refreshing. You try it. The next time a headache or an upset stomach or general achiness keeps you from enjoying the fun that's so good for you. Ask at any drug counter for Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Do you like to stand around when a sign painter is working and look over his shoulder? Well, come on out to the McGee garage, where Mr. McGee has a stack of cardboard and a box of paints. Let's see how he's doing. Here, let me read it to you, Molly. See what you think. Go ahead. It says, Stephen Shaw, noted author, lecture tomorrow night at high school auditorium, admission $1. Proceeds for the benefit of the Wistful Vista Women's Club. Come one, come all. How's that sound? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. My goodness, you've only been out here an hour. Have you got all that lettered on that poster already? Oh, no, but I got it all wrote out on the back of this envelope here. I thought I'd better check the copy with you before I went too far with the sign itself. Oh, let's see what you've painted so far. Okay. Let me hold it up. So far, it says Stephen Shaw. See? Mm. Nice and neat, huh? Like it? So far? Well, there's just one thing, McGee. Mr. Shaw doesn't spell his name P-S-H-A-W. It's uh, just S-H-A-W, Shaw. S-H-A-W? You sure? Certainly. Well, I've been saying all Shaw for years, and all the time I thought it was spelled P-S-H-A-W. Well, that kind of Shaw is spelled that way, but the... That kind? My gosh, how many different kinds of Shaw are they? Oh, there's the Aw Shaw kind, and the Stephen Shaw kind, and then there's the, well, like the uh, uh, Shaw of Iran. That's spelled S-H-A-H. Shaw of Iran? Where the heck is Iran? Let's not worry about it. Just spell Shaw, S-H-A-W, on the sign. You'll be okay. All right, if that's the way you want it. But I sure hate to start all over again. I already ruined about nine pieces of cardboard. And grocery I... boy! Hey, where are you, kid? We're out here, Mr. Oldtimer. Just put the groceries in the house. Oh, on the garage, eh? Ha. Hi, daughter. Hi, Johnny. What you doing? Hi. Well, I'm getting ready to... Pay... Oh, paint the sign, huh? Yeah. Uh... Stephen Shaw. Hey, you don't spell Shaw that way, Johnny, with a P. I know, I That's know. That's a very confusing word, Shaw is. Yeah. You see, there's three kinds of Shaws, kids. Yes, we've just been over that. There's the oh, Shaw kind of Shaw, and the name Shaw kind of Shaw, and then there's the Shaw... We know, we know, Dad Reddit, we know all about it. Now pipe down, will you? Uh, well, I was just trying to be educational, son. If you don't appreciate me trying to help you better yourself, I'll clam up. That'll be the day. Speaking of clams reminds me, did you bring them? The clams I ordered for the chowder? Is that what they're for, daughter? The chowder you're making for that writer fellow, that old man Shaw? The one that's going to give the lecture? That's right. That's how I got him to agree to give the lecture. I promised him a bowl of my special clam chowder every day for a week. <laughs> Say, how'd you hear about that? Oh, you're a big sensation out at Shaw's house, daughter. I was out there with groceries today, and that's all the butler talked about. Ms. McGee's fabulous chowder. Well, I made some for Mr. Shaw yesterday just to get in to talk to him. And he flipped his lid complete, the butler said. <laughs> said when he made the deal with you to bring him that chowder every day, it was the first time he smiled in 20 years. Heavenly day. No kidding. Said the old man's been so happy all day, he gave the butler a raise. Let the upstairs maid come downstairs for lunch. 
and he hasn't kicked a dog all day. <laughs> Sounds like a sweet, lovable old cat. Well, I don't care how he acts at home. He's a famous author, and the women will flock to hear him lecture. You know we ought to raise several hundred dollars tomorrow night? Yeah, well, I better get these posters painted so I can put them up around town this afternoon. If you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Good, and if you'll excuse me, I'll take these groceries in the house and get Mr. Shaw's clam chowder started. Okay, daughter. And if you'll excuse me, I'll run back to the grocery store. I just remembered I forgot your clams. So long, kids. <laughs> In a moment, we'll return to Fibber McGee and Molly. Mother, are you missing out on much of the fun in life? Fun is good for you. You know, it helps you forget about today's problems and prepares you for tomorrow's. But, uh, Eleanor, people don't always feel up to having fun. And frequently, it's a headache or an upset stomach that keeps them from enjoying fun. Yes, and that's when Alka-Seltzer can be a real friend to help you feel good so you can enjoy your fun. Alka-Seltzer becomes a relief-giving liquid that's better because of action in the glass. Yes, action in the glass changes Alka-Seltzer tablets into a liquid. And this is the form your system can use most easily and naturally for relief. Action in the glass supercharges Alka-Seltzer with lively bubbles. And this soothing liquid speeds relief. Action in the glass makes Alka-Seltzer easy to absorb immediately. You'll like Alka-Seltzer for refreshing relief. Try it. All drugstores sell it. Alka-Seltzer, the medicine that's so refreshing. Now, uh, let me see. Take a little red paint here. Draw a line under the admission one dollar. Ah, I got this sign just about finished. I'll paint about ten of these babies. And... McGee, I just talked to Mabel Tubes. And they've sold over a hundred tickets already. Good. How's the sign painting coming along? Oh, swell, kiddo. I just got the first one finished. How's she look? Hmm. Very professional. I cut down on the copy a little bit, as you'll see, on account of I had too many words for the size of the cardboard, but it says the same thing. Read it. Aloud. Stephen Shaw, author and... Author and What? Lecture. Stephen Shaw, author and lecture, it says. L-E-C-H-E-R, lecture. Oh, Mel McGee. Uh, wrong, huh? In spades, doubles. Mm, okay. I'll take some white paint and paint over it. You stay here and spell lecture for me, will Hi, you? Because... Mr. McGee. Hi, Mr. McGee. <laughs> oh, hello, Teeny. Hello, Teeny. If you're planning on sticking around here any length of time, sis, sit down quietly over there in that box on account of I'm busy. Okay. What you doing, Mr. McGee? What you doing, painting that sign, hmm? Yep. Hmm, gee, that's a pretty sign, I betcha. Let me see. It says, Stap Him Shaw. That's Stephen. Stephen Shaw. He's an author, Teeny. He's going to give a lecture for us. Hey, what the heck are you doing out here at 11 o'clock in the morning anyhow, Teeny? That's right. Why aren't you in school, dear? Yeah. Well, I don't have to go to school today, so me and Willie Toops, we're going to the Bijou to the matinee. That's why I stopped to, uh, well, to, uh... See if anybody's got a quarter of me. Wait, wait a minute now, wait a minute. What do you mean you don't have to go to school? Gee, didn't you hear? What? A simply just terrible thing happened last night, I betcha. Yeah, what, what? What happened? Yeah, the teacher sick? No, no better than that, I betcha. The schoolhouse burned down. What? Heavenly days, I didn't hear about... No kidding, that's awful. Yeah. I sure would like to have saw that fire. When did you hear about this, Teeny? Well, it was very lucky... I was going to school this morning, and me and Willie Toops stopped at the corner, and it said in the paper. Gee, if I hadn't seen it in the paper, we'd have walked all the way to school for nothing. That's funny. Must not have been in our paper. I didn't see anything about any fire. Would you like to read it? Sure. I got it right here. I tore it out of the paper because I like to say things like that. Yeah, I see. Here it is. See? Let me see that. Look at that headline, Molly. Hmm. West Side Grammar School Destroyed in Fire. My goodness. Says Scranton, Pennsylvania, October the 5th. The fire last night destroyed... Wait a minute. Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. My gosh, Tinny, that wasn't your grammar school that burned. Hmm? It, it wasn't? It wasn't I? Why, of course not. It was a school in Pennsylvania, Tinny. Certainly. You ought to read carefuler, sis. The next time you pick oh, up... Oh, gee. My teacher, she isn't going to like this, I betcha. I better get to school quick. 
Hey, Willie. Willie Toops, why are we in a jam? You better think of something quick because, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> look at that kid go. <laughs> Poor child. Yeah, well, I better get back to work, kiddo. I'll paint over this misspelled word and start over because when I get these posters done, they're going to be perfect, and I'll put them up all over town. I'll have. <laughs> This has been a real day's work, but it's worth it. These signs I'm are going... I'm just going to call you to dinner, dearie. You through? Yep, all done. I brought the signs in for your approval, madame. Hmm. How many did you do? You were going to paint ten of them. Well, I only got two finished, but but they're perfect. I'll put one at Kramer's Drugstore and the other one at the Elks Club, and well, here, look them over. They're, they're pretty pretty, huh? Oh, they look fine. Yep. Stephen Shaw, author and lecture, high school auditorium tomorrow night. Admission, one dollar. Mm-hmm. Good, huh? Not a misspelled word in either one of them, do you? Spelling either. is perfect. When I do a job, baby, I do it right. Uh, the only thing... Uh... Hmm? No. No, never mind. They're fine, dearie. Go wash for dinner. Let's eat. Well, well what's the matter? I, I didn't spell anything wrong, Molly. I, I, what, what did I spell wrong? Show me. Oh, nothing at all. Your spelling is perfect. Wash up, sweetheart. No, sir. Now, there's something is wrong. Now, what is it? What did I do wrong? Well, uh, when do you plan to put these signs up? Oh, tomorrow, I guess. I was going to put them up this afternoon, but it's too late now, I guess. So I'll put them up first thing in the morning. Now, uh, that's, uh, that's the day of the lecture, right? Sure. It says right on the sign there, tomorrow night. <sighs> oh. Hmm. If people don't read it till the day of the lecture, it ought, it ought, it ought, ought, ought to say tonight, huh? Yes. For the dead rat that did. Put my dinner in the oven, will you? I'll take these dead reddit signs back out and take some white paint and paint out tomorrow and start over because sick as I am of the whole mess, I'm stubborn. And when I start out to paint... Your friends have more to say to you presently. Mother, no matter how well you plan meals for your family, you just can't be sure those meals contain enough of the essential food elements called vitamins. Some foods are naturally low in vitamin content, while others lose vitamins as they lose freshness. So guard your family against vitamin shortage, one of the common causes of a tired-out feeling. Put one-a-day brand multiple vitamin tablets on the table at mealtime. Low-cost, easy-to-take, one-a-day brand multiple vitamin tablets provide all the vitamins children and adults normally need to take. Ask your druggist for one-a-day brand, multiple vitamin tablets. Hey, I forgot to ask you, kiddo. Did you take the clam chowder out to Shaw's house again this afternoon? Oh, indeed I did. And I wish you could have seen his face light up. When I walked in with that Tarina soup... He practically licked my hand. <laughs> you probably had your thumb in the chowder, and he didn't want to miss any of it. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea. Oh? When this week is over and you suddenly cut off his chowder, Shaw's going to be in trouble, you know that? Oh? Sure. I don't think he can stand it. So I was thinking, maybe we could make a deal with him. You know, say, 50 bucks a bowl. What? Oh, McGee. Just to kind of taper. Well, it's just a thought. So long, everybody. Goodbye, all. <laughs> Fibber, McGee, and Molly Transcribed is brought to you Mondays through Fridays at this time by Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. Bill Thompson plays the old-timer. This is John Wall saying, if you want to hear a lecture by the noted author Stephen Shaw, be sure to tune in tomorrow to Fibber, McGee, and Molly. Hear the news with Pauline Frederick, weekdays on most NBC radio stations.